Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Waveslam reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 3 of Solar Opposites, the Hulu show from Mike McMahon and Justin Roiland, who spun off their works with like Rick and Morty, created this new show, and by God, Season 3, this show has really hit its stride. This show is absolutely hilarious and has some crazy elements to it that offers tons and tons and tons of laughs. I just feel like this show has, like I mentioned, really hit its stride and really knows what it's trying to accomplish. The dynamics between Corvo and Terry and Yumulak and Jesse and the Poopa, like, all of them together is just so funny. They have such weird and strange and strained relationships. Um... And they perfectly work off each other. Justin Roiland is such a great lead in this as Corvo. And just his commentary on humanity. And they have such great episodes in this season. The expansion of the wall and really focusing on that more was genius. Like, them going into that, I was shocked how much they're really leaning into that now. But it's amazing. Every time there's a wall episode, it goes to, like, a whole other level. And this is, like, Escape from New York meets, like, Land of the Lost meets some of the most twisted and disturbing kinds of things. The detail and the expansion of the narrative in the wall and where characters wind up, the trials they go through, the spirals they are going through, the new threats, like, they bring in a lot of, like, mosquitoes and spiders and stuff like that that become extremely dangerous. There's some deaths that have a lot of weight. There's a couple episodes in this in particular. Hulu Land is one of the best episodes of the show and is such a shocking ride. I, like, the Poopa's Big Day, which is like a bottle episode of them standing in lines, like, for some reason that has lower ratings on IMDb. I love that episode. I thought that was hilarious what they did with it. Um... The 99 Ships, which is the highest rated episode of the show, where you hear, like, Tiffany Haddish is hilarious in the show, too, as their computer, as Aisha's trying to tell them the story of all the other uh, Remulax who are going through the universe and on their journey and what the hell happened to them is hilarious. It's just, this is really firing when they have these different episodes and spinoffs, like they have this whole entire thing with one of their neighbors going into space and meeting space cops and stuff like that and having a whole episode focusing on that and it really works. And then you just come back into the fold with the main characters and stuff like that. This is a crazy show. It's hilarious. The humor, the satire, and the references are top-notch. And this is really tons of fun crazy thrill ride. I can't wait for season four. I'm really hooked on Solar Opposites. I think this is one of the best animated adult comedies we got. And there's a lot of them nowadays, and this definitely is some peak at this point. But those are my thoughts on season three of Solar Opposites. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.